The RS Turbo is now gone. In comes another motor. This is a retro restore. Stick around with down Jimmy's unit again. Lovely Audi to work on. We've also still got that Ford Ranger here. That's outside. He's just going to pull that back in in a second. What are we going to do on this one? Call my bonnet there. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. And as you can see, this Ford Ranger is in a bit of a state. It come in with some grill damage, the bumper damage, and also the towel gate was all dented in. And uh, Jimmy's actually done some work on that. Let's show you that. As you can see, this section here was pushed right in, and there's a double thickness membrane underneath there, as you can probably see, which was uh, totally crumpled in, this area here, that was pushed right in. So he's actually pulled this dent out. This was dinged right into like a V there. And as you can see, we've had to finish it off with a little bit of skim, skim of filler, and that's nearly ready now for its uh, final preparation. So, right, we've got this corner with this bumper. He's had a go at repairing it yourself, but uh, obviously it's not done a good job. So let's have a look and see what we can do to get rid of it. And as you can see, that corner has just actually kicked in a little bit there, so we're just trying to tease it back out again without um, doing too much damage to it. So that's the general shape there, it's still going to be trimmed up a little bit but uh, we're going to obviously need to have a little bit of filling in. There's a little crack appeared there where it's uh, obviously had some sort of impact damage. So Jimmy's going to work on that and I'm going to work on the Reliant now. I'll see you in a minute. Right, well as you can see I've been doing a bit more on the trotter van. Not enough information to be putting in a trotter video so this is just a general uh, vlog sort of video. Let me show you what I've done today. So as you can probably see now I've got this side which is totally done now and uh, I've just got the little edge underneath the bottom of the skirt to do but uh, I can do that when I turn it over and um, all I've got to do now, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get all the tricky bits done first of all so I'm going to concentrate on clearing this front edge here today and this area here around the bonnet as you can see I've actually started uh, working my way around the actual window surround so I've made a start there but it's all this sort of stuff inside here which is going to be very tricky so I'm going to take these hinges off as well and hopefully get all this done and all I've got then to do is just this side along here so um, not very interesting for you to watch a sanding down video so I'm going to put you on the old time lapse play a bit of the old Latino music get you in the mood and I'm going to speed through and hopefully try and get this done now so I'll see you in a while
Oh, what's the time now? Three o'clock. What time did I start this? About 12? About 12 o'clock I started this and uh, it's all fiddly stuff. Um, we mentioned in the last trotter video that we found that the side of the panel, the side of the actual panel van, it looks like at the factory they tried to cut some windows into it. And obviously that was a factory modification. And I found out now, because I remember the chap when I bought this about three years ago, uh, the chap said, this one is a sort of a crossover van because it, it had the 600cc engine in it. In 1968, they changed to the, the front you see now. In 1967 and before was the same body shape, but it had what you call the slats in, that's called a slatty van. And the chap did tell me when I bought it, he said, this is quite an unusual van because this was changed or modified in the factory and it should have been a slatty van. And it's true because let me show you what I've actually found now. I've sanded it down. Right, let's come here for example. Now down this line here, as you can see, there is this line here. Look, this is factory and this was under the paint. So remember that yellow filler I said about in the last trotter video? This is original filler from the factory where they've obviously had some little chips or whatever. But as you can see, if you come follow this line all the way around, the line actually comes down around here down along and then also there so basically the van is a slatty van or what you would call a slatty one which is the earlier one and this insert here this front piece here is literally been taken off or put on rather shall I say as a later van at the factory and it's exactly the same down the other end let me show you again all the way down there the line from the factory cut in very well matched up I must say comes around the outside there and probably down here you can probably see a little bit better there's the uh, the line there with the original yellow factory filler in it and that this obviously stand up very very well this filler I don't know what it, what it is they've used and if we actually look inside one of the key aspects to show this is a, a, a chassis off of a slatty van is the location of the ashtray which is just sitting on top of the bulkhead there uh, in the later uh, Super Van Freeze, for example, the ashtray you'll see is in the top of the dashboard there. So this is quite a rare van. This is an early van which has been modified at the factory. One where they was going to cut a window out on the side and then they decided to put it back in because they've obviously decided this is going to be uh, the later van. And two, the front end of it has been converted to the later van. So obviously, um, this is quite a rare van, but they still retain the 600cc engine, which is the same engine as what you get in the early ones, the slatty vans. They call them slatties because the grille at the front is a slightly different design. So yeah, this is quite a rare little van here. And um, I haven't got much more to do now, but um, I'm just going to finish off these last little bits. You haven't got to see that. As you can see, most of this is done now. I've only got this insert to do here and a little bit around the front. Lights, as you can see there, and also around the indicators. There's a little bit along the bottom there, just along these uh, grill lines there, but then all that's left is the underneath bit there, which I'll probably do that when the van's turned up the other way. Then that's the whole front and this side completely done. And all that leaves for me to do then is to do this side of the van. And I've already finished this rear section as well. All the difficult bits I've nearly done now. So that's really good. Jimmy's using it as a skip again, as you can see. And we'll just pop into the, the uh, booth for the moment and we'll just let have a little look around. He's been working on this Audi and once he's finished the bodywork there he will prime it and then he will put the base coat in and blend it into the rest of the paintwork. So what have you been doing Jimmy apart from that? You've been working on this one as well? Uh huh, about to prime this one in a minute. Hey, Get this one ready for primer. Get this one ready for primer. You've got little bits to do all over this haven't you? Yeah. Bit on the roof there. Front bumper as I say had some work needed doing to it and also the rear bumper wasn't it? Door. And the rear bumper wasn't it? No, that this thing on the other side. Oh, the hood thing as well. So yeah, the door's nearly done now. Time now is quarter past three in the afternoon. So it's Friday afternoon. I'm gonna leave it here for now and Jimmy's gonna carry on doing a little bit more and I'll see you in the next video. It might be a trotter video, might be another daily vlog, we don't know. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye for now. Bye.